So today I'm going to go over some of the basic notification settings that you have here on a Samsung device. Things like how to change how much information is shown on the screen when a notification pops up and how to change the notification sound and look at your history, notification history and some other things along those lines. So first we want to jump into our notification settings by going to our settings page the phone here by just swiping down from notifications and hitting that gear icon in the top right then you want to go to notifications and we're going to kind of go um, top to bottom here over just a few things the first major thing is the notification pop-up style you have brief or detailed and the brief one as you can see right here at the top of the screen, you see the little text message notification and it just shows a little bit. It doesn't have reply or any other buttons you can hit on it and it only shows just brief information and only one line of information. If there was more text sent in that message, you would see at least one line. It wouldn't show you multiple lines or anything like that. And now I'm going to show you what a detailed one would look like. And as you can see, you get more options here, um, like a option to reply. Um, and there's more information. It can show you multiple lines of that text message um, and things like that. So that's the basic difference. And I'm just using text messages as an example. But these um, will apply to basically all notifications. That's what they'll look like if they're brief or detailed. Now, if we jump back here to the settings, we still have those two options. Um, and if you select brief, if that's what you wanna keep it on, you get a few more options down here, um, which the first one is included apps. And if you click on that, you can say which apps um, will be selected to be shown as brief. And the other ones um, will show up as detailed. So you can go ahead and if you don't want all of them to be brief, but you want um, things like your mess text messages or whatever, you can go ahead and adjust what is brief and what is not brief, okay? Or you can just have them all be brief. It's up to you. The next option for um, the brief notification pop-up style is brief pop-up settings. And if you go through that, um, you get a couple different options here. The edge lighting style, um, basically you can see here is it'll do a glow effect around the edge of the screen when a notification pops up and you can change which effect that is down here at the bottom if you want to. So those are just kind of all of the options and you can select one and click done. Um, you can also do color by keyword. Um, if you want to, so if you put in a word here, you can add that and whenever it sees something that has the word dog in it, um, it'll pop up as that red notification. So you could do that uh, with someone's name or uh, any kind of any word you want. It's up to you. Um, and then you have the last option here, which is show even while the screen is off. Um, so even, and if your screen is locked, it's off. Um, it'll still pop up and show that brief little message if you have this on, or you can turn that off if you don't want that to happen. I'm going to leave it on. So those are all of the settings for brief. Um, for detailed, you don't get any of those settings. Unfortunately, it will just be that detailed notification view, which I actually prefer because then I can easily tap reply and things like that. So that's what I leave it on. The next section here is the uh, recent notifications. Um, the So it'll show a list of the apps that have recently sent you a notification. Um, and then if you tap on that, you can do, you can organize it by most frequent, blocked, or all. And then you can actually go through here and adjust the notifications to be on or off uh, per these apps in this order. There's also other ways to get to this same screen, but um, this is one of the easier ways. Um, also, 
most apps now on Android have like notification categories per app. So if I uh, say I tap on messages, um, you can see there's a lot of different types of notifications. So if you're getting like, say the messages for web notification, if you do texting um, through the web browser, if you're using uh, Google messages here, it will pop up with a notification on your phone that you're using it uh, messages on the web and that's a persistent notification won't let you swipe it away until you close out of the browser on your computer where you're using messages for web which personally for me is kind of annoying um, so I have gone in here and I've turned that one off so it doesn't show up anymore and again you can see there's a lot of other uh, categories here that you can individually turn off so if there's some notifications you're getting from a certain app that you don't like but you don't want to have to turn off all notifications for apps. You can do that within here. Um, you just go find the app you want and you can go ahead and adjust those if you want to. So that's kind of a, a neat thing with um, notification categories. The next one thing I want to go over um, in this menu is how to get to your notification history. Um, so if you accidentally swipe away a notification or something like that and you want to go back and see what it was, you can do that by coming to the same notification settings menu, then going to advanced settings, and then going to notification history. And there's a lot of other options here you can go ahead and play with, um, including turning off app icon badges, which will show you like how many notifications you have in that app on the app, like kind of on your email and things like that. There's a lot of things here, but I just want to focus on notification history. If you select that, you can see all of your notification history and you can scroll through it if you want to, and you can see them. Now this is off by default. Um, so you'll just have to come in here and turn it on. Um, and when you first turn it on, it won't show any of your history cause you haven't enabled that yet. But, so by turning it on, then you'll be able to start seeing your history and it'll start to record your notification history for you. So that's kind of a handy little thing that's hidden here in the settings. So we're going to jump back. And then the last thing I want to go over about notifications is how to adjust the notification um, ringtone or sound that it makes. Um, and it's actually not in here. Um, sometimes you'll see the message down here, but to actually go and adjust the, uh, uh, sound for notifications. You want to jump back to the main settings page here and go to sounds and vibrations. And here you will get, um, all the different sounds and stuff that you can go ahead and adjust. Um, but I'm just going to look at the notification sound here. If you tap on that, you can go ahead and adjust it to the different sounds that you want. It'll even play a little tone. Um, so you can go ahead and pick whatever you want um, to be the notification sound through here. You can also change the notification vibration pattern and you'll feel it vibrate on these different ones that you tap. So you can go ahead and select whichever one of these um, that you want. So those are kind of all of the basic settings for notifications that you can go ahead and change here on a Samsung device. It's kind of a lot. They give you a lot of customized options, which is really nice and convenient. So hopefully this video helps. And if it does, go ahead and leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one on how to make technology work better for you. Thanks.